All right, Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade here. Thanks for joining us on Texas Live and Local. We've got a lot to talk about. Possible tropical system developing around the northern Gulf. You may be a little concerned, a little anxious. I know a lot of people have been talking about this, so let's get right to it. At least for today, across Houston, Galveston, the Woodlands, up towards Huntsville, we don't have to worry about anything coming at us from the tropics. It's just going to be a little hotter out there, really today and tomorrow afternoon with very little rain. We've got high pressure in control for the moment. As that high slides away, though, we are going to be watching a weak low in the northern Northern Gulf for tropical development. Right now, it's not even a tropical depression, so it's very weak. It's very disorganized. It's actually been moving across the Florida Panhandle this morning in the early afternoon, but it is expected to push into the Northeast Gulf. It could tap into that very warm Gulf water in the 80s, and there's a chance we could have a weak tropical depression or maybe tropical storm Dexter. But for Houston, our main impact, whether it strengthens a little or remains very weak, will just be some more intense bursts of heavy rain, likely starting early Friday morning. So let's talk about it. This is what it looks like right now. You can see this swirl that counterclockwise flow there. That's the area of low pressure. It's a weak area of low pressure with disorganized showers and storms. Most of the heavy rain and storm action off to the south and west of the center of circulation. But you can see it kind of drifting west, west, southwest, getting closer to New Orleans. And that is where we are expecting the biggest impacts across southeastern and south central Louisiana. So here's the latest thinking with this tropical disturbance. Not much change over the last 24 hours other than the fact that it's moved a little farther west, but not much change with the strength or intensity with it. It is near the Florida Panhandle. It's still being called Invest 93L, producing disorganized showers and storms. Main impact for the Houston area and really for much of the northern and north central Gulf Coast will be heavy rain and that flash flood risk. Still just a medium 40% chance that this thing even grows and strengthens into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. Now you may ask yourself, what is the difference between a tropical wave, a tropical storm, a hurricane? Well, right now we've just got basically a tropical wave or tropical disturbance. It's a band of thunderstorms moving through the tropics usually the first stage of a developing storm, but still too weak to be categorized as anything else. Now, tropical depression would be our next step with this system that we have around the Florida Panhandle. If it gets more organized and we get winds up to about 39 miles per hour, we'll have the chance for it to become a tropical depression. Tropical storm would be winds closer to around 39, 40 miles per hour, up to 73 miles per hour. And that is when the system would get a name and it can cause flooding and wind damage. Of course, if it gets even stronger, it develops that stronger closed low level circulation, starts to gain strength. It could become a hurricane and that would mean winds around 74 miles per hour or stronger. So it doesn't appear that it's gonna be a hurricane, but even if it gets a little stronger, regardless of whether it's weak or strong, it's still going to bring some heavy rain. So we already have our first flood watch fairly close to us. This includes a big chunk of southern and southeastern Louisiana. It includes New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Lafayette. This is all the way through early Saturday morning. So widespread three to six inch rain totals with isolated totals around 10 inches or more. That is a lot of rain. So that's why we're concerned for that flash flood risk. You can already see those outer rain bands starting to pommel parts of the southeastern Louisiana coast, getting into New Orleans, Mobile, Alabama, getting some heavy rain. So it's already beginning. All of this stays to our east through this evening, through tonight. You can see all of that moisture getting dragged up from the Gulf, and that will be inundating southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, and Louisiana. As we go into tomorrow, though, that flash flood risk will start to creep a little bit closer to us. It is going to push west. I still think it's mainly going to be east of us for tomorrow, but New Orleans definitely going to be right in the middle of things as that low likely will be very close to southeastern Louisiana. Some models have it making landfall late Thursday and Friday right around the New Orleans area. All right, our Fox weather model shows this system organizing a little bit by 10 a.m. Thursday, but once again, like I said very close to the New Orleans area. It could make landfall. It could kind of meander right along the Gulf Coast 
in the Gulf. So we'll have to see where it goes and what happens. But bottom line, you can still see kind of a slightly more impressive looking system there around 9 p.m. Thursday, very close to south central Louisiana. So if it makes landfall there, we're still going to get some rain. If it kind of meanders near the coast, we're likely still going to get those rounds of rain. You can see Friday morning, Houston, Beaumont, Galveston, a lot of rain over the area. So those intense tropical downpours as we go into Friday afternoon, still some scattered rain. I think the worst of it will be Friday morning through early Friday afternoon. And then by Friday night and Saturday, a few lingering downpours, but things should start to improve. Where do the models think this is going? Well, these are a lot of different computer models showing the possible tracks of this disturbance. And most of them take it close to New Orleans and then it curves north and then northeast up towards Memphis, Tennessee. So it doesn't appear that it's going to be making landfall in Houston. However, we're still going to be close enough to get those bursts of rain, those tropical downpours. So I think we're dry for the most part for the rest of today, for most of tomorrow, but Friday morning through Friday evening through 5 15 PM. Notice this model showing one to two inches potentially for southeastern Harris County, for Liberty County, Chambers County. Notice that almost two inch rain total right around Laporte. That is where we're going to have the best shot for heavy rain and flooding. So if you live east of Interstate 45 on Friday, definitely plan on some heavy downpours and an elevated flood risk. I want to leave you with the flash flood risk for the next three days. Notice for the rest of today through tonight, highest flood risk two out of four southeastern Louisiana around New Orleans going into tomorrow. It will start to increase and get closer to Houston, but it should be over towards Beaumont. That's the elevated flood risk. Friday will be our biggest risk for that flooding Houston in the low one out of four risk, but parts of Galveston Galveston Bay, Galveston, Chambers County, Liberty County, Galveston County in that elevated two out of four flood risk with the biggest risk for flooding over into South Central Louisiana. So we'll keep monitoring it. But like I said, whether it turns into Tropical Storm Dexter or not, we are still going to be a part of the heavy rain. So keep checking back daily. We'll update you as we get more model runs in.